everybody. I'm going to be doing a smoothie for you this morning to show you how simple we can really take it if we want to. A lot of times people that are just getting into this will email me and ask me, like, what's an easy way to get into the whole green smoothie thing? I know that it could be a big part of my life and, and honestly, coming from my heart, if you can, you can I, other stuff you want to eat, that's up to you, but if you can consistently do a green smoothie or a, a decent amount of leafy green vegetables every day, that's going to lead to a lot of other things. I've seen it happen in a lot of people. I've seen it happen in myself. Uh, adding that in as like a daily habit is a very, very good thing. And after that, usually things will just fall into place with the rest of your nutrition and even your entire life. It can change your, your activities, your exercise habits. Uh, it's, really, uh, it's really a baseline for where you could go in the future. So today, I'm going to show you something that's a really easy one. I go to Trader Joe's. Uh, we live in the area where Trader Joe's is close, so it's convenient. I know Trader Joe's isn't widespread, so some of these items will be different depending on where you're shopping. But a good one to start off with, and if you're introducing your mom or your dad or, or you know family members, friends to a green smoothie, you might just want to go with a good clean bag of organic spinach. Uh, this was $2.70. And uh, it's quite a bit. If you could eat one of these a day, blended or in a salad, it could, it could really do some magnificent things after a while. So we get this. I like the frozen mango chunks that Trader Joe's has. Uh, they're, um, they're actually really nice when you let them defrost a little bit. You can put them in yogurt or uh, some kind of cashew nut milk or coconut cream. Um, add these in. We're going to put some in the smoothie today. Uh, obviously, a fresh mango would be best, but a lot of times those are quite expensive, and I can get a full bag of these for probably two fifty. And uh, it's uh, it's really good, and it sweetens it up. And uh, if you're into bananas, bananas are a good one if you're starting out. And and I'm also going to be adding in some raisins here, just in case it needs a little more sweetener. But uh, it should be fine. And if a person wanted to, they could add in a little bit of uh, hemp oil. Um, you should be getting good fats in your body throughout the day, but if you want to add a little bit into your green smoothie and just get it done with, um, it would not be a bad strategy. I like hemp oil a lot. I've been using some animal fats lately as well, like grass-fed butter and some pastured egg yolks and some grass-fed cream, and that's been really good. No problems at all. But um, coconut oil would also be nice. Hemp oil is always a great one. For our base, though, we're going to be using some freshly harvested spring water. I got this two days ago. And this is in a glass bottle that I hope to have for a very long time. And um, we were in Long Island, Cold Spring Harbor, and uh, collected this. We actually had to wait about 20 minutes because there was uh, quite a few people there getting water. But it was worth it. We had a, you know, we visited with some people and ended up getting about 25 gallons and brought that back to New York. And it was only about a 30 minute drive, which was a lot better than Stokes up in New Jersey, which was about an hour and a half sometimes. And then with the tolls and everything, it was definitely better to go out to Long Island. So let's do the smoothie. Already I put the spinach in here. I usually like to do a few good handfuls. Uh, it's definitely easier with a high speed blender, but if you want to, uh, it's just gonna take a little more time, but whatever blender you have in the house is a good thing to start with, especially using spinach. So we've got that in there. We're gonna put the mango chunks in. This ratio can go higher or lower, it just depends on what you're feeling like. Uh, I found personally that it would go lower the longer that I did it, I wouldn't need as much. So we'll just put a little bit of that in here. You know, I bet you there's about a cup in there. Not so bad. We can do a handful of raisins. Probably a quarter cup, and probably less. And then maybe 20 ounces of spring water. I really don't um, measure it out totally. I just kind of add a little more after it's blended to see if it needs more thickness. Or more, more, uh, more water, obviously. So we're going to start this on right now. It's on variable low. We'll start it off low and turn up the speed. Spinach blends really well. Three counting the water, but 
Yeah, it's totally good. You could, I mean, you could add in whatever else you need. Uh, if you felt the time, you might want to add some more sugar, just depending on where you're at. Uh, the longer you go, usually the less you'll need, but there's honey. If you wanted to go the cook route, you could go towards maple syrup. Um, agave nectar, I'm not so crazy about anymore. I would probably, I would probably recommend honey, a good organic honey, hopefully from like a very pristine area, if possible. And then, uh, or add in some dates or something, but you know, see where, see where it takes you. You can try kale. Kale usually gives me some digestive problems. Uh, I like to just kind of keep the um, beet greens, spinach, lamb's quarters if it's wild. You know, those things seem to help a lot better. And they're a lot smoother too. So I'll play around and see what, uh, see what works for you. And it's a quick, easy start. Really three or four ingredients in about 10 minutes. And you all have a liquefied sweet salad that can take you many, many hours throughout the day because it's really nourishing. So cheers, peace. Rawmodel.com.